Good day out there, scrappers. How are you? Yeah, this is uh, Billy Bill Scrapper. Okay, this is the old channel name of mine. But we do the scrapping and other bullshit here. Uh, true story. Okay, a couple weeks ago, a friend of mine, electrical contractor, got me a bunch of fucking wire. Did a demo job in a big office building, right? The whole office. So I got all this Romex shit and stuff. He gave me this, this zipper to get the, <laughs> the steel Romex off and some of the aluminum. The aluminum was easy. Um, most of them I was able just to pull through, hooking the wire up to my van, one end, the other end to the fence post, you know, and just pull through. The other stuff was real tight, bitch. Anyway, it was a lot of wire, okay? Stripped. We had 90 pounds. Plus the steel casings, plus the aluminum. See my three fingers here? This was three weeks ago. I finished it. Okay? They're just coming back to life. They've been numb. Like, you know, you get that tingling feeling, your fingers are asleep. These three. Middle finger, forefinger, and thumb. Murder. The tips. This hand here, you know, from gripping with the pliers and stuff and pulling, these two joints hurt. When I fold over like this. Ain't doing it no more. Here's your answer, folks. It's called the Copper Mine. You can get it on Amazon.com or from CopperMine.com. 70 bucks. That's it. Look at this gorgeous fucking thing. Look at this. You know how many times I tried making a thing? You see my ones, a homemade video. You know, and using a straight blade. Look at this. Look how it sets the wire in there. You, get, you gotta fuck with it a little bit. This is the limiter to keep the wire in there. Okay. Okay, by hand, ten times easier than using the blade. You know, going like this with your hand, pulling this way, and pull with the left, going, you're going like that, and you're stripping. Ten times easier by hand. But there's still, when you got a long length of heavy wire, there's a lot of torque pull, a lot of pounds per, per inch that you're pulling. Okay. I also recommend this from a friend of mine, electrical contractor, works in the electrical unit. A piece of wax. Wax the tip of the blade before every job and keep waxing it in between. It keeps the blade sharper, a lot longer, makes it easier. You don't want to use liquid in here because you don't want to create any rust. Or maybe you get some spray oil. You can spray oil in there as it's cutting, you know, just to keep the blade slick and easy cutting the through your you got plastic, you got rubber insulation you're cutting. Not recommended cutting. You need some kind of heavy machine to cut this kind of insulation. This is that aluminum wire insulation. This is a heavy, thick plastic. Um, this came off of an antenna. Old roof antenna. Do not cut this kind of insulation in this machine. You need a heavy duty industrial to cut this. Do it by hand. You're not going to get long lengths of this. Here's a, here's a piece. Most of the guys don't even bother stripping this because... What the fuck? 45, 55 cents a pound? Throw it the fuck in the way it is. Get, take the little dirty weight for the aluminum. Nobody bothers with it. That aluminum wire. The soft aluminum wire, yeah. You know, the soft core stuff. Yeah. So... Anyway, I had to, uh, I tried to drill with just a piece of wood mounted, no good. This thing was flopping all over the place, breaking, it didn't work. So I got this, this is from an air conditioner condenser, you know, this bracket here on the back end. This is from an air conditioner radiator, you know, the side part there. It's from a different one, not that one. I, I just screwed them down here to hold the front end in, just to hold it in place. It's not tight, real tight, because when I'm going to take the drill out, I just... I'll lose the one screw, lift the bracket up, and slide the drill out. So if I got to use the drill to do something. But I don't think so, because most of the time it's going to be staying in here. So, you set your wire. It's easier to take this thing off and set the wire by hand. You set the three rollers in here, left and right, to hold the wire in center. Okay, you don't want to do it too tight. You don't want to do it too tight. 
and push the blade down. Then you come up with the bottom roller to hold it in place against the blade. This one here, the bottom roller comes up. You get the three wires there. It tells you, it shows you in the instructions here. See? They say the premium most wires, 2 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 10 o'clock positions relative to the wire. And that's what that is. That's the 6 o'clock position, of course. You know. And that's the 10, and that's the 2. Here, where the, where the point of the roller is. Not this way. And that's straight, of course. You're not going to get... Yeah, that's right. 2 and 10. Yeah, that's it. This is the 2 o'clock position. Here. This is the 10 o'clock position. And, of course, that's the 6. And that, and that will, and then you set your blade on the top. You got to strip a little bit of it, to, you know, just a little bit. You don't have to do this much. It's got a little stripper thing over here. You you wind the wire in it. That gets my hand, but it's it's kind of awkward. There's not much room to work the wire through, you know. And you just go round and round and round to slice it and then pull off the piece of insulin. You don't need that much done. This thing I got spool. Uh, it's a broken tool. This was that, I think it was called halftime or something like that. You had different tips. You put in here screwdriver bits and other things. And then you just flipped it back and forth. You know, you could put a straight blade in one. Put the Phillips in the other and just flip it back and forth as you need it. But it's all, it was only good for lightweight stuff. Heavyweight stuff that we do, not good. So that's my spool. Another type of spool device you could use... You need something, you know, that'll chuck into the drill. This this has it, because it was made for it. They had it by hand, and then you had this. Um, any type of spool, something with a spool, with something on it, where that you could put something through the center of it, you know, like a straight piece of steel or something, or a drill bit that you could put through the center of it that'll hold in, in the spool, and then you got like two washer ends on it, and then you just anything. And now, now you got your own power drill cable wire stripper. This is some of the wire I did already. You see, I got more. I think I got more over there. I think I left it upstairs. I don't know. This is the, the this this wire was given to me from my neighbor. It had it was all a brand new pack of uh, thin wire. I put some of the other wire in there. That's all. I got more of it done than that. I was doing it by hand mostly because I didn't have the drill hooked up. But uh, I'm telling you, I, in a half an hour, I did about 60 foot. You know, adjusting the blades and everything. It took me half an hour to do 60 foot of wire. That's fantastic. 60 foot. Uh, the light stranded stuff, you know, the stranded wire. Two pounds. That's it. But now with the drill, let me show you how much faster this is. This is a short, this is only for demonstration purposes. Don't go get, well, how could you do such a short piece of wood? You could have done it by hand faster. This is only to show you how well it works. This is the way to do it. When you want to hook up a drill to it, this is how you got to do it, okay? I'm going to put the wire in here and I'm going to twist it around. So you want it coming down. You don't want this thing, you don't want the drill up high to pull off because it'll pop this off. When the wire hits it, it'll pop it off. This way it's pulling down and it stays tight on the uh, the copper mine stripper. I was doing it by one hand, which is kind of dumb. Um, let's see if the camera this way, maybe you can still see what I'm doing here. Now, optimally, you want to hold the insulation off that's already slit with one hand this way
that. You have clean wire coming off. It doesn't matter though. Here we go. See the torque? Do you do you see the torque on that? Ah. I don't want that going that way. I gotta go hold it. And that's it. Yeah, see, I got the drill up a couple inches so I can flip it and, and reverse it and then just pull the wire up. See, it comes out this way. And this way, my hands aren't used. My hands aren't used. And you got clean strip wire. Look at that. With no burring. I'm pulling with my hand, I shouldn't be. This is what you do. Stop using your joints. Because the more you do, the more pain you're going to have the next day. I don't care how strong you are, how young you are, how old you are. Okay, stop using the joints. Yeah, nice and clean to come down. Yeah, I know you guys got them fucking things. You got the treadmills and everything that crush the wire. Cool. I don't find treadmills. I'm not going to go out and buy a $3,000 treadmill, bust it open, put the rollers together, or some kind of fucking device to do wire with. If I find one where the motor still works and all, I might do that. But right now, when I got 50, 60 pounds of wire to do, this is good enough. Alright. Now I'll show you by hand. Same same kind of wire right here. I'm gonna do it by hand without putting it into the drill. Now see the thing is already set. It's already set for this gauge wire, so it makes it a lot faster now. Strip a little bit of it. Right? Just turn the wire and cut through it. Ah, didn't do it. These are old wire cutters. They're very dull. I tried sharpening them. I gotta buy a new pair. This is a bitch. Time is money in this business, bro. Don't waste my motherfucking time. It's my number one rule. Don't waste my motherfucking time. If it takes too much time to do the, the task, then you lose the money. Do it the fastest way possible. Okay. I'm going to lower the bottom one. I don't have to touch the blade or nothing. Uh-oh. I think the blade got loose. It did. Son of a bitch. No, it's tight. What the fuck is going on here? Yeah, okay. Uh, don't tell me it's your own crazy.
A lot of fun though. A lot of fun. I'm, 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 I'm counting on... I think by tomorrow, I'll have all this wire done. Then I'll do my air conditioners. The next, next day, take it to the yard Saturday. I know I'm coming home with like $300. I know that. I know that much. So you can see, you just... Now I'm going to turn up the bottom thing. Pull the wire through with the pliers, get it started. Okay, we're slit. Yeah, it's slit. It's cutting into the wire. We're cool. And you want to pull, you want to pull them downward motion like this. Oh, I think I got it too tight. It shouldn't be that hard. You don't want, you don't want a lot of, you don't want a lot of drag on it. You don't want a lot of drag. You got it too tight, you're gonna have problems cutting the wire. There's a little bit too much drag on here. I'm, I'm feeling a lot of stress on my back and my arm muscle. This is only like eight foot. Yeah, see? I had too much drag on it. It stripped it, but I got too much drag on it. I get the pressure rollers in too tight. That's how you learn from my demonstration. Yeah, see? It was in too tight. It, 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 the wire burned a little bit. There. This, this is clean. This came out clean. Hmm. Huh. That's funny. Alright. Little piece of insulation didn't get cut through. But, did it by hand. You see how easy that is. Is that worth 70 bucks, folks? You better believe it is. Peace out, baby. We're gonna make some money this week. Look at these air conditioners I got. One, two, three. This one's getting up. The other radiator, this one was really strange. It was all aluminum. I took that in with the aluminum stuff I did the other day. And uh, that's it. I got a bunch of window frames I got from a contractor friend of mine. They're in the van. And as I said, the aluminum. I got the aluminum motor casings. These are easy to do. The best 70 bucks I ever spent right here. Two months ago, skill, brand new, $70, eight and a half amp, six variable speeds, down it. This is a, this is a multi-purpose blade, this does wood and metal, and it's really fast to strip in this aluminum over here to get the copper radiators out, you know, the copper tubes out, these guys here. Yeah, I started doing it, but then when this thing came, I said, I gotta get this set up. I gotta get this baby set up. There it is, baby. That's how to do it. All junk parts. This piece from the air conditioner radiator sides. This piece from the air conditioner condenser. You know, the thing that clips on to the frame. It goes around the condenser. That's it. Screw the blocks of wood down to the table. Put the drill on top. It's fastened. It's secure. It works. This bolted to the bench this way. It's not hard. You know, it's got bolts underneath with washers. That's locked into place. This mother ain't going nowhere. Table's a little, you know, wickety because it's not mounted to the wall or nothing, but it's good enough. It's good enough. Later, folks. I gotta make some money.
Have a good day.